What's up? How's it going? On the last uh, Instagram post, somebody made a suggestion that I should uh, talk about some of the details on a custom Honda Ruckus build. So here's some details. So here's our current Honda Ruckus custom bike we're building. We're almost finished. This bike has been taken completely apart from a stock Honda Ruckus to now rebuilt entirely from every nut and bolt. As you can see, we have a custom candy finish here from our uh, powder coater, my, my powder, we're looking out. It's also painted at an automotive facility by a Master Tech painter. Shout out to Ennos, my boy. Always laying down the best paint. Our wheels here are custom Dorby Works one piece, high polished and then candy powder coated blue. We have our Liz Rooks wiring system in here. All our wiring is wire tucked to be neat. All heat shrunk, all automotive grade wiring. None of that speaker wire doo doo. No sticky tape. Very easy to service. All our bikes have uh, full speedometers with digital instrumentation, as you can see. We got turn signal indications, got your light indicator, mile per hour, voltage, everything you would have like in a working vehicle like your car. But a lot of times when people are building these custom bikes, there are little details that they don't leave out and it makes your bike not so reliable. These are our handlebars by Dorby Works. We make them here in the US. We hand polish them and often we finish them. All 6061 grade. Custom disc brakes. Get a little look here. Frame. All our Honda frames here. The front Honda frame is aluminum and it's usually cast. But we sand it smooth and then we powder coat it for durability and for a nice smooth finish. You won't usually see it as smooth like this on a regular stock setup, but we go the extra mile, make sure our bikes are beautiful. Look at this paint. This pearl is amazing. You have to see it in person to really appreciate it. So our custom 13 by eight. We specialize in these 13 inch setups for the best staggered setups to have a 12 in the front, 13 in the rear. It really gives you that stance look. With our stance engine mount right here, we get you around uh, four inches of ground clearance while still being really stretched out and low and functional because we ride these bikes. These bikes on average go 60 to 70, some of the high performance hit 80, 90, but we want everything to work as good as it looks. So here's a little brief video for you guys. I hope to bring more information to you in days to come as I uh, learn how to show what we do here. We got our disc brakes. These are forged four piston brake calipers. These are not cast. It's not recycled aluminum. It's a solid piece of aluminum cut out and made for us with a four piston caliper and really big brake pads but the modulation is good so you're not going to touch the brakes and lock it up it's really smooth yeah it's, it's fire up got to tune it it's only pre-jetted A nice little taste of that exhaust. That's how we want all our bikes to start up. Even though it's carbureted, it's not fuel injected, but it's simple. Usually, when the bike is off, you haven't ridden for a while, you just pop the choke right here and you fire it up. But we had gas in there already, so the bike starts up very easily and the idle should be good. 
around 2,000 RPM is like where we set ours. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, clip of this new bike we're about to put out. This bike was built for Ryan and he's a veteran hospital police officer. He's a very awesome guy. So he hopes to enjoys this bike and we get to ride with him. You guys have a good one. Thanks for checking out this video.